Hello everyone, this is Roland Menguang and welcome to my new tool assisted speedrun. And just like before, we are going to run a tweaked version of Mega Man X6. So, so for those that didn't know, there is a, a program that allows you to tweak the uh, Mega Man X6 ISO file. So we can change values within the game, like the maximum dash speed that, uh, that both characters can get. So just like before, we set the dash speed to the maximum that we can set it to. And this will bring interesting cases. If you haven't seen my previous two the speedrun, we could all run uh, bullets from Edge and also the camera almost all the time. And you will see this, but also new tweak tweaks that I introduced to this game. And the category we are running is any percent. So we are going to to go to alternate routes to beat high mass. So then we can go to the final stage right away. So as you will see, as we move really faster, even faster than his bullets, even faster than the camera itself as well. And if you haven't seen my previous version, my previous two assist experience, sorry, uh, I invite you to look at that. Basically, with hyper dash, we can say we can get even higher speeds than this and leave the camera behind all the time. But in this particular case, we are not going to do that. Since we are going straight to the final stages, we are not going to get hyper dash. But still, I added a few other tweaks to the game to be to make it more interesting and very different to the vanilla game. And this is the first boss. Um, this can only be damaged using charge buster, air dash, and the saber. You can also damage him using the orb to hitting the orb at the top. But that, even though that does uh, good damage, we only want to do that at the end because it brings very long invincibility periods, making the, the fight way longer. Um, so for those that have seen my previous two assist experience, the entry stage is basically the same. I right away started after the entry stage, so we can, so I could uh, develop the two assist experience way faster. Um, this is high mass. In case you didn't know, uh, he is invincible. Invincible in this fight, the only the only way to actually finish the fight is by basically getting to one HP. So that's why we jump into him right away. And with that, we finish the first stage. And then we are going to go to Amazon area, so the Commander Yamark stage, to actually unlock zero. We need to actually go to Nightmare Zero first before we can actually fight high mass again. Amazon Aria ha brings uh, one particular case that we I wanted to, or I want instead to to use. So the capsule in his stage is the leg parts of the Falcon armor. As you maybe have seen the title, it says activate incomplete armors. This means that we can get armor parts and be able to use them right away instead of waiting for to get all the parts of that armor. So the first thing that we are going to do is go and get the, the armor part. As you can see, seeing I roll around the, the camera, I could get inside the castle before triggering the cutscene. So with this we get the, the leg armor part, so we can use the blade armor with only the, the parts that belong to the leg parts. And from here we are going to the alternate area to be able to fight a Nightmare Zero. We are not going to beat this boss, so it is better for us to get this route. This is not normally an area you see in a Tula City experience, so that makes it that makes it very different. Not even in a hundred percent. It is very short, uh, but here it also don't have any collectible in it, so even in one hundred percent you don't see this stage. So we are going to fight Nightmare Zero. Nightmare Zero is a boss that you can do very high damage using the Sea Saber. That is his weakness. 
And as you can see, the, sh the fight is very short. So now with this, we unlock zero. We can use zero, although we are not going to use it uh, until the very end. So yeah, by getting the leg part of the blade armor, we can all uh, use mag dash. Mag dash is the air dash that the blade armor brings, and it is a very different air dash than normal. So you can dash in four directions, up, down, left, and right. And since we have the mass dash speed set to to the maximum set, the maximum dash speed set to to the mass, we can the mag dash is really super faster because in vanilla game it is actually faster than normal dash. Now we are going to the Infinity Mihinion stage. In this stage in particular, we are going to fight high mats. We choose this stage because this is the shortest to get into an alternate area. So you will see Ed with his unarmored sprite. That is because unless you do collect all the uh, the armor parts, you can you will see this armor. But even though you see uh, like this, you can actually use a uh, Mac Dash in this case in particular. Also, one little thing that I didn't mention about Mac Dash is that it 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 is actually it makes it invisible for the at uh, the first frames of the of the uh, of the Air Dash. So with Illumina defeated, we can actually go to the nightmare to the alternate area. And the alternate area also brings the arm arm part of the of the blade armor, but we are not going to get that because it is actually slower. Actually, the the buster of the of the, of this of this armor is way, way better. And as you could see before, we we actually make use it to air dash to pass through the bottomless pit part faster. And here is not a high mass. The only way to beat him is normally is to use a weapon to is to save the a charge buster and then use a weapon. But also the mag dash does damage to to high mass and doesn't bring invisibility periods, which is hilarious. So we use a charge a charge buster to paralyze him and then use mag dash to to constantly do damage to him. And with just with this, we get to, to the final stages. Normally in the vanilla game you cannot do this unless you either collect the four blade armor parts first or you either have to get one weapon so you have to actually beat one of the main bosses and in this particular case we didn't have to do any of the two which that that is why I specifically uh, selected these tweaks into the game um, another tweak into the game that I added is the ability to actually cancel the air, the mag dash in the vanilla game, you uh, normally cannot do that, so you have to actually do the dash until you hit a wall or an enemy. But in this case, by hitting the back button, we can actually cancel the air dash. So now we are in the gate one stage, using the blade armor as well, or the incomplete armor rather. We specifically choose Eds and this armor in particular because there is a huge skip later in the game, in this stage. It is crazy how the S bullets always leave, uh, fall behind in this tweak version. So the skip is, is in this area. Look how fast we can beat this area this area using the the mag dash. You normally cannot do this only you have unless you have the barrier or hyper dash. Or sorry, even without with hyper dash you cannot do that. Uh, in this area, we I I like it to use this exploit. Basically, since her, uh, the mag dash is super fast, you can actually clip into the into areas of the stage itself. S uh, in some cases, it is safe to do that, but in other cases, it will kill Eds right away. So if you click like up into the ceiling or into a wall, you will instantly die. 
That is why I specifically choose to be able to cancel the Mac Dash because otherwise I will just die all the time and the Mac Dash will be basically useless. So just like that we got into the first of, of this of the boss of the gate one stage. Uh, if you didn't know, the only way to actually do damage is by waiting for the ice to get outside of the course or the bodies rather. And with that, you, we use a, a two combinations. The first is using just Air Dash and Sea Buster because that is the fastest weapon that we can do damage with. And for the second part of the fight, we want these two to align in a, a very specific way to be able to find it, to finish this boss in two in two sets. So we want the, them both to be vertical aligned. So we can use a uh, mag dash to actually go to the top and do damage to the other eye. We will do damage to the lower eye, and just like that, we finish it with in, within two sets. So now we are going to the K2 stage and just like before we are going to actually also select Edge with the Blade Armor. Zero is only used once in, through the whole 2 speed speedrun. This also made, made me happy because they, this is very unusual to see Edge so much into uh, 2 speed speedrun in a way that is, it is actually faster. So Gate 2, the Gate 2 stage is basically two stages uh, one after another. First you have to fight high mass again, and then you have to fight Kate. So, uh, then we, now we are going to do a skip, a totem skip basically by not jumping in the, past, in the past before we can make the totems not appear. So we can quickly skip basically the whole stage. And now we are into high mass and just like before, uh, the fight is the same. The only thing that changes is that now he brings like two shields, both to his left and to his right. So it is a little bit harder to actually do damage, but we still can manage it. So we can only do damage one way, and not two ways like before because of the other shield. This fight is actually faster in the vanilla game. Oh, sorry, I mean the vanilla game is faster than this because since the mag dash is slower in the vanilla game, you can actually do more damage per mag dash. In this particular case, since the mag dash is too fast, we can only do like two hits per dash. So now we are into the second part of the gate to a stage. And just like normal, uh, we got a rainy area. And with zero, we get a, a press area. So we use a combination of the Buster, the Saber, and the Mag Dash to, to kill some of the bo uh, of the ice. And we also use the uh, uh, God Adventure of the invisibility of the of the Mag Dash. And just like that, we are in the end of the of the, of the second stage. And now we are going to go we are going to fight Gate. And as you know, Gate is completely invincible. There is no way to actually do damage unless you tweak it with the the Twitch program and the only way to actually do damage is for him to, to throw at us spheres that we can damage and then the spread damage will hit him only do only doing four damage like this we to to kill the spheres as soon as possible is by using a charge buster and then mag dash Since we don't have any weapons or any other alternative, we cannot make him show, shoot the spheres as soon as possible. The only way to actually do that is by by killing the spheres right away as soon as they are vulnerable. In this case, we have to wait for for, for, for each cycle, and we mess around with the stage, with the layout. In, in the meantime, you can see how Edge can clip into some of the the platforms here and then just like that we finish 
we get. This is way longer in, than, than in the vanilla game, but there is no actually way to do, to do it this fight faster unless we we actually get a weapon. But getting a weapon will be even slower. So we use this instead. So now, just like that, and with 15 minutes within the game, we are actually in the final stage. And for the final stage, we choose zero because he can beat the bosses way faster than X. And if you didn't know, uh, zero can use a technique called SDC. So that, that is a slash dash cancel. So you can cancel a slash like the first or the second slash with the dash. And then you can cancel the dash with the slash making basically a infinite cycle. And since the first slash and the second slash do not trigger invisibility periods for most of the bosses, we can actually do we use this technique to actually do really good damage in a short amount of time. Uh, we are going to find Mihinion here. He's he's he the, the SDC technique doesn't work on him. So the best way to actually beat him is using the C Buster. That does four damage. It is rare, rare to actually be to actually beat this stage, the, this boss, sorry, as soon as possible without getting damaged. So this is a, a nice outcome that I could get in this particular case. Depending on the randomness of the balls, you can add, or the bubbles rather, the, sometimes it is impossible to not get damaged uh, while doing the boss as soon as, as fast as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Sorry. So we are now, go now going to fight Shield Shidong. We are going to use this DC here, so the, this, this fight is straightforward. Some of the bosses we finish with a C Buster because that is like one, two or three frames faster depending on the boss fight. Now we are going to fire Renny to Troy. And we actually have to destroy the Hade in his shell to actually do damage to him. In this particular case, in any percent, it is faster to actually destroy than it, it, uh, it's faster than going around. Because otherwise, since you don't have several plus, you do very little damage and the missiles will hit you, making it slower. So Going from the left is faster, even though you have to destroy the Hades. So this is the uh, ground scavenge boss fight. We also use a glitch that allows allow us to glitch his invisibility period. Basically, the C boss that you see that you saw at the end. Hit like five times, doing like 20 damage or something like in less in like five or six frames. Uh, okay, so this is a Metal Shark player or prayer, depending on which version you play. Uh, this is a very straightforward boss fight, so we just across him to the right and then we use SDC. We actually had to make a very short jump because otherwise he will hit us while SDC in him. Now we're going to fight uh, Blaze Hitnits. Um, this is another boss that you cannot normally SDC him so we are going to use the third slash, that that is the weapon that does the mo most damage to him. In this particular case, because we, we don't have his weakness. So we start with a C boss, and then we use the third slash. When Once he gets to half HP, then we can use SDC. The reason for that is that there is a, a one particular attack that he does that allows us to SDC him. And that attack only, he only performs that attack when he is below half HP. Now we are going for Whistle Wolfang. Uh, 
just like normal we are going to jump right into him and let's see him since we don't have zero plus this fight is twice as long and similar to the torchlight fight because we only do one damage but with zero plus we can do two we can do two But yeah, we finish with the Sea Buster as well, because the Sea Saber only does one damage and the Sea Buster does, does four. And now we're going to the final final boss of the main bosses. It's just Commander Yamark. And just like the others, we just at see him. Since the first move that he does is to move way to, uh, to the back, we have to at and and since he will, st will still be moving, we have to jump uh, uh, again to catch him and continue to see him. And now we are going for the second part of the final stage. Since these enemies have like really high HP, it's better to actually get damage and pass through them. And now we are going to fight Sigma. His first boss fight is very simple. So we just as they see him, but for each hit that you do to him, there is a possibility that he will get recoil damage and move way back and get invisibility period. So we manipulate him to not do that by delaying some of some of the slash like one thing. And just like that we are going to fight the final boss, Sigma 2. And the only way to make damage him is to when he opens his mouth, then we can use the sea buster and the saber. The first thing that we that we do in this boss fight is to manipulate he, the platform enemy that he spawns at the beginning to actually drop it to the floor near uh, basically near the same time as he opens his mouth. We see now to use the sea buster, then we use air slash, and then we finish with sea buster again. And just like that, we finish the game in real time, like in 22 minutes. The IGT is 11 minutes and like 40 seconds, something like that. So normally we, obviously we cannot beat this, this game this fast, but the, but the tweaks allow us to do many crazy things that normally aren't possible. So huge shout outs to SDS and the team that made this program. And shout outs to the Mega Man SS com task community, uh, speedrun community. And thanks to you for watching this and see you in the next time. Bye.
なう代わりに掴むものもあるもっと大きな」